Hello, throughout this video, my team and I will present to you Nese Company. Nese was founded in 1905 by the merger of the Angel Swiss Milk Company formed in 1866 by brothers George and Charles Page. Nese is a Swiss multinational pro food and beverages processing conglomerate corporation headquartered in Vivier, Switzerland. Nese is the largest com food company in the world. Nese products are food and beverages. In Malaysia, Nese produced popular brands such as Milo and Maggi. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the economy throughout the world is disrupted. A lot of businesses in Malaysia are affected by the pandemic, but how does this pandemic affect Nestle? Scarcity. Nestle has seen the trend of consumer buying patterns during our MO, which their sales increase and continue very especially for the at-home consumption and trustworthy product. Due to the strict rules and operating standards, Nestle faced difficulties to get the best raw materials from the suppliers such as coffee beans for their drink product. On top of that, the rainy season which happened lately also has greatly affect the whitery sours. Thus, Nestle faced the lack of labor as one of the rules during RMO is to limit the amount of workers at arms resulting in the lack of productions of the company. Choice Due to scarcity, consumers must make choice. Society needs to make the best choice possible after considering from the few terms and alternative given. It also involves rational decision making. Nestle will make the best choice to maximize their profit. Through RMO, consumer wants to make the best choice available that can match their satisfaction by choosing the low fat milk produced by Nestle. Due to the scarcity of the coffee bean for their coffee product, Nestle has decided to add the production of their low fat meat product instead. It is also proven that the low fat meat produced by Nestle will always be the consumer first choice as it helps them to have easy breakfast and simple food using low fat meat during RMO. To conclude, as the demand of low fat is high, and expected to increase during RMO, for sure Nestle will add the production of low-fat milk, thus making canned coffee as the foregone cost. Opportunity cost. For instance, during the restrict movement of the RMO, Nestle has decided to produce milk during this period of time, making the opportunity cost the company is passing the canned coffee. The problem of scarcity in economy results the society in having to solve the three fundamental of economic problem. The basic economic problems listed are what and how much to produce, how to produce and for whom to produce. Knowing the lack of resources or in other words, the presence of scarcity, the consumers are the ones who need to determine the type of products or goods that need to be produced by Nestle. The consumer's obsession towards um, healthy food, such as less sugar, lower calorie foods, has led Nestle onto reformulating their current foods and products. Nestle look forward to the latest pattern of trend of people eating behavior. They will also maximize their production for the milk, avoiding any wastage by using the limited resources in a great amount. How to produce refer to the technique used by a company thus answering the question who will be producing the goods using what resources and as for the Nestle company they use the capital intensive method. To prove the efficiency of Nestle using the capital intensive method we can actually see Nestle sales growth um, in terms of their product for whom to produce is based on society's income and purchasing power. As an overview, people with higher income are able to purchase more products than those with the lower income. Nestle target market is for all ages, especially the new age generations, and that explains why the main focus is to produce healthy food. Um, at the same time, helping to solve the parents' concern regarding their kids' growth. Other than that, people aged 18 and above are most welcome to buy and enjoy Nestle products.
price elasticity of demand measure the responsiveness of the change in quantity demanded due to the change in price. When price increase, the quantity demanded decrease with a condition other things stay the same. Determinants of price of elasticity demand Firstly, availability of substitute. Goods that have more close substitute will have higher elasticity because consumer can respond to a rise in price by switching to a substitute. For example, Dutch Lady Milk and Nestle Milk are substitutes. Consumers can buy Dutch Lady Milk if the price of Nestle Milk increase. Second, level in income. Consumer with high incomes will have inelastic demand. They are less sensitive to price change because they can buy milk even after the price increase. Income elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of the quantity demanded due to the change in income. Income elasticity of demand is calculated to determine the type of goods. There are four types of goods which are normal goods, luxury goods, necessity goods, and inferior goods. Milk is a normal good and has a positive income elasticity. If the price decreases, the quantity demanded will be decreased. However, the decrease in quantity demand is less than the decrease in income. When restriction movement order was enforced, some people lost their job, and this caused their income to be affected. People will try to minimize the use of money, but they will still buy the milk, especially parents, because they think that milk is good for health and for children's growth. This shows that buyers are less responsive towards the change in income. Cross elasticity of demand measure the responsiveness of the change in quantity demanded of product A due to the change in price of product B. Cross elasticity of demand is calculated to determine the relationship between two goods, whether they are complementary substitutes or not related at all. During restriction movement order, people will buy a lot of goods to stack up at home because some of them prefer staying at home rather than going out. They will find goods that are cheaper if they want to buy them at once. If the price of Nestle milk goes up, they will still buy the milk, but perhaps they will buy Dutch Lady milk. This is because people will decrease the consumption of Nestle milk as the price is expensive and will substitute the Nestle milk with the less expensive Dutch Lady milk. Due to the restriction movement order, their income is a factor which causes them to be more frugal in spending money. Price elasticity of supply measures the responsiveness of the change in quantity supply due to the change in price. During the restriction movement order, the seller will increase the supply of goods because people will buy a lot of goods at once. Hence, Nestle will take an opportunity to increase the supply of milk because as a supplier, they want to make a maximum profit. Nestle belongs to the long-run production and the supply is elastic because the suppliers can take actions that take more time to increase the Supply. This shows that Nestle is responsive towards the change in price. Determinants of price elasticity of supply level of technology. Although Nestle use farmers to get the milk, they also use advanced technology to facilitate and speed up the process of milk production for the sale in the market. They are using new tool called Global Milk Solution to digitize the traceability of the milk from farm to factory. The global milk solution includes payroll, GPS tracking, and road optimization to ensure the accountability and reliable transportation. The more advanced the technology used, the more faster the production of goods. This will cause the price elasticity of supply become more elastic. Market equilibrium happens when demand curve and supply curve is equal to determine the price and quantity of a product. When the price of low fat milk increased from 18 to 620, the quantity demand increased from 400,000 to 350,000. But it's different from the quantity of supply which is increased from 300,000 to 350,000 bucks. At last, the new market equilibrium price will be 620 as it is the price that can satisfy both seller and buyers. 
Based on graph and chamber, surplus happens when supply of meat are more than the demand of the consumer. And shortage is when supply of meat are not enough to be served to the buyers. So, government have to intervene in the market to overcome these problems by using tax and price control.